Hey everyone, so this is Jacob's six month update and yesterday we took him to the pediatrician and she says he's doing great. He is weighing 16 pounds and 9 ounces now and he measures 26 and a half inches. Um, she says he's doing really, really good. Everything a baby that six months is supposed to be doing, he's doing, which is wonderful. Um, it really blows my mind because, you know, since he's a preemie, I didn't expect him to be like up to date, you know, like other babies do at the same rate. But, you know, he's doing everything perfectly. Uh, the only thing he doesn't do yet, but she told me not to be concerned, is sit up on his own yet. Um, he does sit up with a help, but uh, if you let him go, he'll fall to the side. <laughs> so um, that's the only thing he doesn't do yet. But she told me give it about, you know, till he's like maybe seven, eight months. But, you know, everything else he's doing great. And uh, he pretty much eats anything as long as it is pureed. Uh, she already gave me the go also for him to have uh, lentils. Uh, beans, beef, chicken, anything that's uh, pureed is okay. So I have him on baby food. Um, my mom makes him purees also. He's uh, drinking about 8 ounces of formula every 4 hours. He's doing really, really good. He's turning into quite a little chunker. <laughs> so um, I have great news, you guys. I got my laptop, so I'm going to start vlogging soon. Um, not just updates on the baby, but, you know, talking about um, our, our health journey, our, our weight loss journey, um, future plans for TTC, you know, all that stuff that you guys initially started watching my videos for so it's not all going to be about Jacob now <laughs> um but I'm doing this quick update because I have some stuff to get done today and I really don't have time to sit down with my laptop and 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 do a long vlog but I wanted to get this six month update out of the way because um you know I didn't want to forget he he turned um he turned six months on the 15th of February and today's the 19th so I didn't want you know so many days to pass by and then I forget and then you know it'll be too close together to his seven month update so I rather do it now and <laughs> and get it over with before I forget but yeah you guys as you could see I have my camera focused on him <laughs> so as you guys could see he's a very happy baby he's always smiling whoever looks at him he'll smile at them <clears throat> I hate the fact that this camera, whether I take pictures on him or videos of him with this camera phone, it always like does a a red glare on his eyes, which I hate. You can't really see the true color of his eyes, but he has gorgeous gray greenish eyes. Everybody keeps asking me because both David and I obviously have brown eyes, so everybody keeps asking me Whose eyes did he get? And to answer that, uh, my dad has olive green. And David's dad, my father-in-law, he has bluish, grayish eyes. So that's where Jacob got the eyes from. Like I said, it's hard to pick it up on the camera because right now his eyes, I guess because of the flash, is glaring like red. <laughs> so it's really hard to see on camera. But when you see him in person, you can tell the color of his eyes is really unique, really beautiful. My baby boy. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't take off the flash because if not, the video is going to look too dark. But, yeah, you know, right now I just have him here with me. He he sleeps in his own crib over there, as you guys could see. I have his crib over there against the wall at the foot of my bed. <laughs> but every morning, um, I change him and feed him here on the bed. It's more comfortable for me to feed him that way on the bed. And then he just stays here with me for a little bit and cuddles and does all his cute baby stuff so yeah also the uh, pediatrician told me to start him up uh, to uh, set up a little play area in the house which i'm going to do soon uh you know those uh, letters that you put on the floor like the abcs they're like cushiony they're really big 
um, and they come together like sort of like if it was a rug or a carpet. Yeah, um, she told me to put those to, to, to get a little play area for him to put those down and put like a little baby fence around. So that could be his play area and he could start to move around and grab his own toys. He does move around a lot. I mean, when I put him on his crib on tummy time, he is all over the place. He's, I mean, he wants to crawl soon. <laughs> he does a cute little like thing there where he scoots over all around the crib, but he still doesn't like crawl, crawl. But, um, she said if I put him often in that play area, pretty soon he'll he'll be doing that. And he'll probably start setting up on his own, too. So um, that's going to be a new experience for him. It's going to be exciting. So I'll be sure to record that when I get that done. <laughs> What's wrong, baby boy? What's wrong, booby? Jacob. Jacob. Where's your little fuzzy baby boy? All right, guys, so, um, well, I guess I better go. <laughs> I have uh, some stuff to get done, and as you can tell, he's getting fussy. Yeah, he's going through a stage now where he does, like, this little, uh, scream where he's being a little brat. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little stage he's going through now, and I have no idea who has spoiled him so much. Yeah, maybe grandma and grandpa. Yeah, grand grandparents are usually the ones to spoil the babies. Definitely not us. <laughs> All right, guys, so I better go. So I just thought I'd update you guys on him. Like I said, he's doing great, and uh, I will see you guys in my next vlog which will most probably be focusing mostly on our weight loss journey because David started the weight loss journey with me. And I'm very excited about that because now we have each other to, to back each other up and, you know, hold each other accountable for the stuff we eat and, you know, exercise and et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.